Welcome to our lecture online. Another very useful theorem is Stokes theorem. And Stokes theorem is also known as the fundamental theorem for the curl. Now, what does that look like? What does that mean? Well, we have the equation. The equation is straightforward. But if you look at this equation, does that make sense from a visual perspective? Does that look like, yes, I can look at that and understand what we mean by the curl or mean by Stokes theorem? Notice here that we have a vector function or vector field. If we take the curl of that vector field and multiply it times an area element and then integrate that over a surface, that should equal the line integral along the edge of that sur surface. Now, it turns out that the surface, of course, cannot be a closed surface, otherwise you don't have an edge along which to integrate. So, what does that mean? Well, the best way to think about it is this. Let's say that we do have a surface and we have a vector field present along that surface and what we're going to do is we're going to test for the curl of the vector field anywhere along the surface. We take a small little area element and we check for the curl or the bending or the swirling of that vector field. And then we go ahead and do that everywhere along the surface and add it all up. That's what integration means. It's adding up all these swirls of the vector field anywhere along the surface and we claim that it is equal to the vector field dot dl. In other words, we take the vector field and we integrate that along the edge of that surface and the value we get for the right side equals the value we get for the left side. And that is known as Stokes' theorem. So we can write it like this. The bending or curl of the vector field everywhere on the surface added up, that's the integral of that, is equal to the line integral around the closed path of the edge of the surface. Now, notice that if there is no edge to the surface, when will that happen? Well, when there's a closed surface. For any closed surface, the boundary shrinks to zero. There is no edge along which we can then integrate, and therefore we can see that the left side will become equal to zero. Now over here, we can see that the integral on the left side, the curl of the vector field dot dA, only depends on the boundary line of the surface, not on the shape of the surface. The surface can be flat, the surface can bulge up like a mushroom, no matter what it looks like, anywhere you can make the surface look like anything you want it to look. As long as the boundary is the same, you can see that the integral over that surface will always equal the line integral along the boundary. The surface, the shape of the surface, doesn't matter, which is kind of interesting, but it makes it easy because then you don't have to worry about it. At least that gives you a visual perspective of Stokes' theorem. Now, of course, we're ready to show you some examples to show you, first of all, that it actually works, and it also helps to see an example to get a better feel of what it really means, Stokes' theorem, and how it can be useful in case we need to work either the left side or the right side of that particular equation. And that is how it's done. You like my visuals? Ha, ha, ha.